Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. I'm down here in Burbank, California at West Coast Customs, and I wanna show you how to set up a dynamic interview. If you've ever shot an interview with a single camera with nothing to cut to, it's actually quite boring. So what we have set up here is an A camera, the static camera with a 35 millimeter lens, and a B camera with a 50 millimeter lens that's gonna be moving on a Rhino slider to add a very dynamic shot that you can cut to. That's called your B cam shot. Now, as far as the technical bits of this, we're shooting on two Sony A7S's, both in S-Log. And so to preview what our shot will look like in post, we're using a small HD monitor to preview our LUT in real time, which is super handy. As far as our audio, we're using Rode SmartLink wireless labs. In the past, we've used a Rode NTG boom mic, uh, but since we're on the road, this is much easier to travel with. We pump that straight into the camera and it gives us great audio on our A camera. As far as lighting, we're using a key light just to provide a little bit more brightness on our subject. The background here with the lighting is super bright, and so we have to pump the key up quite a bit in order to pull our subject away from the, the background. And then we're using a one by one for some fill light on the side over here. So setting up our dynamic B cam shot is really easy. We're gonna program it with Rhino Motion. So I'm gonna go here into live motion, create a move, and it's gonna calibrate my slider. So with Rhino Motion, it'll actually touch the end of one end of your slider, and from that point on, it knows exactly where it's at on its track. So looking at my monitor here, it's asking me to turn the wheel to point my camera. I'm just gonna center up my subject on this end of the slider. It's gonna automatically move to the other end of the slider. And once it gets there, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna point the camera at my subject. So now I just program my arc move. So here in the creative move menu for a 42 inch slider, I typically like to have about a 40 second duration for the entire shot. So I'll set that up. And then ramp is what actually makes the shot smooth from end to end. So I'm gonna move my ramp to about 15 inches, set it to loop so that I don't have to man this. It's gonna shoot autonomously throughout the entire shot. Click to start. You can actually preview your shot right here and see what it looks like. Really dynamic, tracking automatically. So I moved it in, I click go, my shot will start. I can dock Rhino Motion, I'm good to go. Now that we have our B camera moving autonomously and tracking our subject, and my A camera is a static shot that I can cut back and forth from, I'm free to actually engage my talent and I don't have to worry about the gear I just set up. I can monitor my audio, make sure my batteries don't die, and ask great questions for a great story. If any other questions about how Rhino Gear works, feel free to reach out to support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.